All right, this is gonna be a really quick intro because my camera is about to die and I don't have another battery charged right now. <laughs> If you are watching this video, thank you so much for clicking it. Welcome back or welcome in general if you've never been here before. My name is Lydia. Today I'm going to be unboxing for you, giving first impressions, putting it on my face. The Lady Gaga House Laboratories makeup collection that I was just sent over the other day. Short little backstory. I got an email months ago from their PR person being like, hey, we'd love to send you this stuff. And I was like, sounds good, great. I came inside the other day, saw this giant box sitting in my house. I was like, okay, cool, package. Like, that's always exciting. I walked by it a few times, and then it hit me. House Laboratories, Lady Gaga. I've been seeing this all over the internet. I completely forgot that they were gonna send me anything. I was immediately so excited because, of course, all the people that I love watching, like Luster Luck, Katie, and Desi Perkins, and all of them were at that launch party recently. There was a disconnect in my brain that this box sitting in my house was Lady Gaga's brand. So anyways, I was really thrilled. I knew I had to film a video on it because it's such a big deal right now. People are making videos about it left and right, and I thought, why not join the fun? And this one is getting a lot of hype, so I wanted to just see what it was all about, what the products were. So this is really a first impression because I didn't know what the products were gonna be. I have to say I'm really excited with the way that this makeup look turned out using the products. So yeah, I hope you keep watching and enjoy this unboxing slash try on of the new house laboratories line. If I sound gross at any point during this video, it's because I'm having some seasonal allergies. <laughs> My voice is a little bit froggy at the moment. It's not cute, but we're gonna bear with it. All right, this is the box they sent. Let me show it really quick. It's not incredibly heavy, so I don't know how much stuff is in here really, but I imagine it's a bit, because this is pretty massive. <laughs> So this is what it's looking like on the inside, a little prism shape. I'm sure this is all over the internet. I have not watched any videos about this. I wanted to get a whole first impression thing. I will say there's so much cardboard just for this box, but it is what it is. This is what it looks like. We got this big cardboard diamond shaped thing. House Laboratories, welcome to our house, it says. Let's see. House Laboratories has been a dream of mine for many years, built on a foundation of love. I founded this artistic creative collective to inspire kindness and self-acceptance through beauty. I want you to love yourself and spread that acceptance to others around the world. Together, we can do this. We believe in creative innovation, high quality formulas, and self-empowerment. Our self-expression tools were designed to inspire you to be brave in your beauty. Together, you and I can walk hand in hand through life and change the world. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so I'm seeing you. there's these two little packages here. Oh, I just ripped it open. Oh, this is the stuff she has around her eyes. Okay, that makes sense. Face lace, it says. Okay, so these are, what is this supposed to be, I wonder? I'm interested to see how people have used this because this is really interesting to me. I don't know that this is gonna be the most useful thing for me, but it's interesting. Oh, oh some of it's messed up, that's okay. So it looks like there's, what are these? Maybe lipsticks, lip glosses, so maybe liquid eyeshadows, lip liners. I'm excited. This eye pencil I did just see on the website when I was looking at their about page, so that was a little spoiled for me, but that's okay. I'm gonna start with this top row of things here and crack open the packaging. Oh, there we go. Let me get out my little pamphlet, see what everything is. This is the liquid eye liner, L-I-E. Matter than matte liner in the shade punk. So we're gonna swatch it. Why not? Okay. Wow. I am not mad at that. That swatched really nice, and it is bleeding into the cracks of my skin a little bit. But we'll judge that when I try it on later. I'm really hoping some of these are lip glosses because I love a good lip gloss. <gasps> oh, it is lip gloss. <laughs> I'm excited. It doesn't smell like anything, which I really appreciate. I do love a good scented lip gloss, but I think there's a lot of people who don't enjoy that. So I appreciate when brands don't put scent in their lip glosses because it can be kind of irritating, especially if it's not that great of a scent. <laughs> Let's read about these, shall we? Le Riot Lip Gloss, Ultra High Shine, Multi-Dimensional Lip Gloss. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll probably do a couple little swatches and insert in here. The applicator is an interesting shape. I haven't seen one quite like this before. I really hope this is in focus. I'm really not entirely sure. But the applicator is this interesting doe foot curved shape. Yeah, I've not seen one quite like that before, so I'll be interested to see how that goes on. Oh, oh I love this shade. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a clear.
clear rose gold. I'm gonna insert images when I'm done. I don't really feel like it'll do it justice to show on video. I'll just insert a picture, um, especially because my camera is kind of hard to get in focus. I really like these because they're not looking, I don't know if you can tell on my arm, they're not super opaque. And I love a gloss that you can sort of see your lips underneath. It's a little bit sheared out. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for a full intensity, completely opaque and gloss these might not be quite exactly what you're going for they are very pigmented but they're not swatching as like one solid stripe of color they definitely do have some variation in there where you can see the strokes i will go ahead and enter that picture right now so you guys can look at the shades how they swatched on my arm and see the names of them i just realized that my camelback has been sitting right over here the entire video all right, moving on to the lip liners. So these are the RIP Lip Liners Creamy Demi Matte Highly Pigmented Lip Pencil Skip Free Waterproof. Waterproof, nice, okay. I just really like this packaging, it's super cute. It has a good grip on it. Oh, that's really nice and soft. Since it's a pencil lip liner, sometimes those can be a little stiffer, but that just went on incredibly smoothly. Oh, that's so nice and again I'll do the same thing that I did for the lip shades and post online I've also got my eyeliner swatch on here all right moving on to the last items that are in this box we've got the glam attack liquid shimmer powders this is exciting because this reminds me of the Stila what are they called <laughs> Those little Stila liquid eyeshadow things that are all glittery. I think they're called Magnificent Metals. Okay. Swatch the first one right here. Kind of a peachy tone. <gasps> I love it. Okay. <laughs> this is the shade Legend. That is so pretty. Do we see this gold shimmer on my forearm right here? I love, I love, I love. Next, this, oh, this is like a silvery gunmetal shade. So that shade is... Biker. Makes sense. All right, that's just kind of a purpley shade right there. I'm not a big liquid eyeshadow person, more so for shimmers. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how these go. The last one is this teal shade. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. These are more cool tone than I probably would go for, um, maybe except for this gold one and this champagne -y rose gold one up here. Again, I'll go ahead and insert my swatches right here in the video that I'm about to take a picture of. All right, so now that we've swatched everything, unboxed everything, I'm gonna go throw some of my makeup on and I'll drop back in when I'm applying one of these eyeshadow shades. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but we'll see how they work on my eyeball and all that. We'll test everything out on camera. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right, so I've thrown most of my makeup on except for my eyes and my lips. I have a variety of different eyeshadows that I'm thinking about pairing with the House Laboratories liquid eyeshadow that I chose. I think I'm going to use the shade Legend because this is the one that spoke to me the most. This is that bright golden shade. So I feel like it'll be the most flattering on me and it's something that I would actually wear on like an everyday basis color wise. All right, now that I've got you good and zoomed in, I'm going to start with this brush from some Morphe collection. I don't know. I, I didn't say this. This is the Huda Beauty. I think it's called like Neon Obsessions neon it doesn't say well it's the neon pink palette that's what we're gonna call it today this shade is building up really nicely oh i didn't say this earlier so i'm just taking this yellow shade right here from the Huda beauty palette okay i'm gonna go in now with the norvina palette before i finally go in with that gold shade and i think i'm gonna hit up the shade e3 right here hopefully you can see that um, to kind of just deepen my crease a little bit. I'm gonna go in with the same brush because I'm liking the way it's applying things. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I really appreciate the fact that she has a couple of different yellows in this palette. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade Keeper and mix it with the shade Hive in the Naked Honey palette. And I'm also using the brush from that palette just so that I have some crease definition here. Ugh, I love a good monotone look, I'm telling you what. Most every eyeshadow look that I do on a regular basis is a variation of the same color, just different depths. 
I'm really pleased with the way that this is looking. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this all over my lid and then kind of blend it out with a brush. I don't want it to be a super sharp shape. We're gonna see how it looks. Ah! Wow, that's so liquidy. It feels incredibly wet on my eyelids. But that's all I'm gonna put because I do kind of want to shear it out. I'm gonna take the other end of this naked brush and blend it out on my eyelids. I'm not gonna do a super cut crease or anything like that. I kind of just want to blend it out all over. You can kind of see through the eyeshadow to my eyelid color, which is fine, but I also kind of didn't realize that, so I didn't really put a shade underneath it. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm not mad at that. It took a second to work it up to that opacity. Oh my god. <laughs> it has spilled out of this whole thing. I really did not realize that was happening. I felt something drop on my knee. Two and two did not come together. I did not realize that it was coming out of this. Okay, wow. So, um, don't tilt these upside down because they'll spill all over you. Let me go clean this up really quick. Okay, so I've cleaned everything off. Oh my god, I haven't cleaned everything off. It's coming out again. Oh, it must have gotten in the lid. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye off camera. We've seen how it works. It went on really well. It doesn't feel sticky at all, which I'm really impressed by. Um, I hate when a liquid eyeshadow feels sticky. I'll check back in with you guys in just a second. I'm gonna go clean this off and go ahead and put this on my other eye and then we'll get started on the eyeliner and see how that works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner now. Let me grab that. It's a nice uh, felt tip applicator. That's actually really nice. I'm impressed with the way this is going on. The shape turned out a little weird today. It is bleeding up into my crease in my eyeball, but that's kind of normal. This is super nice. I feel like I'm able to get a really skinny edge on the inside of my eyeball. All right, I'm gonna stop there. My eyeliner wings are not twins, not sisters, maybe more like stepsisters today. We're gonna go with it. I'm gonna go throw some mascara on, uh, pop on some lashes, and then put on some of those lip glosses, and I'm really excited. All right, so I applied some lashes off camera. I'll put them in the description. I love them so much. They're by the brand Vicky Lashes. I don't remember the name, but that'll be down below. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to lip products, which I'm probably the most excited about because I love lip gloss. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my lid here that I've been storing my products in. Let's see, I'm really super drawn to, where is that? This one, I think it's so beautiful. I want to paint my entire body in it has so much glitter it's such a nice raspberry color i love it i'm gonna pick this looks like it's gonna work out for us i'm gonna use my anastasia mirror here i have a little bit of lip balm on i'm gonna go ahead and kind of wipe that off i'm gonna go in with the shade uh myth because i feel like it's a little bit more mauve and i really like a purple undertoned lip liner on myself that goes on so unbelievably easily. I'm applying pretty much zero pressure. I'm just gonna kind of disperse that color in my lips a little bit because I'm not gonna put any lipstick underneath. I like this lip liner color a lot. It's really pretty. This is the shade uh, Attitude, which I'm so drawn to. I love it. This doe foot applicator is actually really nice. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the shape because it is kind of like a weird angular curved doe foot. It's not too hard. I hate when a lip gloss applicator is too hard and it just smears the product around. This one is really nice and I feel like the curve that you see right here holds the product nicely and this other side is nice to kind of blend it around with. There's something about it that I feel like is going on maybe not as smooth as I would like it to. It really is very easy to move around. Like when I take this with no product on it or just less product because I've used most of it on my lips, it kind of moves it around a bit, which I'm not too mad about, but it definitely is not fully opaque, which I like, but it is easy to move around on the lips. So that's something to consider when you're applying it. I think the look is complete now. We've got on the eyeliner. I didn't feel like using those little face, uh, what were they called? Face lace things. Um, that's not really the vibe I was going for today. I really like to stick to things that I feel like are what I would wear on a daily basis, and this is a really good example of that. I am generally so pleased 
with this product even though it got all over my jeans and made a big mess and took a really long time to put on because of that but that was honestly probably just user error um it did spill out really easily so be careful if you buy this not to hold it upside down for any length of time but i feel like over my eyelids i'm incredibly impressed with the way that it looks it does not feel sticky at all let me look at it really quick and see if it's creasing I see the slightest little creases in there, but literally just smoothing that out with my finger, they completely go away. But as far as that shade goes, I love it. I feel like there are times, for instance, with the Naked Honey palette that I've been using where I've used either like one of these two shades and they don't give you quite the same glittery effect that using a liquid eyeshadow does. And so I really like that one for that purpose. I feel like it really amped up my honey golden sunflower eyeball look today at first i was saying that i didn't think it was quite as opaque as i was wanting it to be but it was really easy to build it up and the fact that it dried down really well even though there's quite a few layers on there means a lot to me um it's not sticky or gooey or looking weird or anything like that because there are a lot of layers moving on to the eyeliner i loved that i felt like it applied incredibly well felt tip applicators are kind of like my second preferred method to put on eyeliner. I prefer the more like hair tipped applicator, but that worked super well. I usually find that felt tip applicators are harder to get in the like inner corner of my eye with, but that one was really, really easy to make a really skinny line with, which I appreciate. And it created a really sharp wing, which I'm impressed by because again, I feel like it's kind of harder with some felt tip applicators to do that. And it was super black, super pigmented, like one swipe was just about all you needed. I did not have to go over it more than once. So that says a lot about the eyeliner. I would say that is great. I'll for sure use this again. I feel like this one is really worth testing out if you're looking for a new eyeliner, especially in pen form. Um, it was pretty liquidy, but not too liquidy to deal with. It did go up into my crease a little bit, but I feel like that was more user error than anything. That happens to me sometimes because I'm just a little impatient letting it dry. Moving on to the lips, I'm really, really into the way that the lip liner went on. This particular shade that I used was incredibly pigmented and went on. Everything swatched really, really well when I did it earlier. So I feel like those are all gonna be a good option if you're looking for a lip liner. I'm excited to keep trying out those shades. I probably will keep using this shade um, and some of the more nude toned ones. I really like that lip gloss. I love the shade i do feel like it kind of smeared around a little bit i do like a sheer lip gloss so i'm not too mad about that and if you enjoy a sheer lip gloss or just in general a lip gloss that's not going to be completely full coverage completely opaque you probably would enjoy that one for me for everyday wear i absolutely love that kind of thing all right that just about wraps it up for this video i hope you guys will subscribe and like and comment and all that good stuff of course, per usual, check out my Instagrams down below. I have a personal, Lydia Grace, Grace, G-R-A-Y-C-E, and a makeup account, M-U-A Those will be linked below, as well as all the products that I use today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.